What is going on, everybody? Good morning. Good morning. Yo, this is your boy Game with Kenny. I'm your boy Kenny. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. And we're gonna talk about good friend qualities today, man. We're gonna talk about good friend qualities today, alright? And it all starts with love, man. Ooh, look at that kid off the bat. But it all starts with love, man. You know, love is love is a language of the heart. You know, it excites. Encourage and make friendships meaningful and fun, you know. But yet, loving friendships are rare gems. You know, these priceless treasures are the desires of many, but honestly, the reality of few. You feel that? Like, like some people not blessed with, or not, I should say they're not blessed with, but not lucky enough. Let me go change this person. But not lucky enough. To have good friendships, you know, some people only have like friendships that are like uh, that are toxic, you know. But anyway, like think about it like this, man. Uh, friendships without love are like ships without sails, or like tunnels without the, without, without the, the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, you don't look forward into nothing because you know. When, it, when, it's like, when, when you go through a tunnel and there's light at the end of the tunnel, you're looking forward to see that light at the end of the tunnel. You're ready to get out, bro. And that friend can help you escape if you just look it in the way. But, man, if you ask me, bro, love is the glue that holds friendships together. Even in hard and, you know, uncertain times, but not all friends are loving, you feel me? Because love is a trait of a good friend, and a good friend would love you at all times and in, in any situation, good or bad, bro. Like, for instance, I'm gonna, we're going to use me again. Man, I got off of social media. I stopped calling people, man. I was in, like, a, a, I would say a bad state of mind at this time. But I wasn't the best, right, at this moment in my life, man. And, like, I, I lost contact with a lot of people. Or I should say, like, I really cut people off in order for me to grow better. Or should, uh, something like that. But I had to grow better, you know. And one thing about good friends is they understand, you know, you need this in order to be either okay, in order to grow as a person. Let me just get this person made. Give me that head! Woo! Baldy scalded, not Tim Baldy. Oh! Yeah. But man, like, think about it, man, in good and bad situations are you know good and bad stuff that happened in your life which friends stay down with you which friends you could call on like no matter what you know you could call them and be like hey man i really need your help you know i'm going through this right here uh any encouraging words or anything that you you see that i need help i'm well, not not i need help with but anything to encourage me while i'm going through the situation in life you know you know, and also good friends don't look for opportunities to excuse themselves from expressing their love to you, but rather they look for opportunities to further express their love to you. Did I get that? They don't look for opportunities to excuse themselves from expressing their love, but they look for opportunities to express themselves because that's how much they love you. Also, man, I was, you know reading the Bible, you know, but there is Proverbs 17, 17 that you can read, and it's also 1 Corinthians 15, 33, and it says, do not be misled, bad company corrupts good character, that also goes from something that I was talking about yesterday, which was like, uh, you know, sometimes a company you keep reflect yourself, and when having the right company, they could help you in things that, you know, you wouldn't be able to help yourself. This man tried to spike me. Get spike down. Oh my goodness. Come on, man. I got a healing face. But man, like, honestly, man, if your friends don't inspire and challenge you to set high standards, like if they don't set you at a high standard and they keep you above that high standard and they're like, bruh, you're, you have so much more than life than just this thing right here. Like, you have so much potential. Like, man, we don't want to see you down and out, man. And, you know, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're struggling right now. Like, nah, man. Come on, man. Kill 
Hey, Vic! <laughs> like, man, if they don't do that, man, if they don't set you at a high standard every time, bro, and, and man, if you, let me see, if they don't set you at a high standard, man, and keep you at that high standard, then let that friend go, bro. Or I should say let that friend go, but just do what's best, man, for you in that situation, bro. Because if a friend holds you accountable, then you have to hold yourself accountable after that. Look at that, man. That just should have been a kill. Should have been a kill. And let me tell you something, bro. Plans go wrong for lack of advice, but many advisors bring success. Proverbs 15:22. More people you have in your background, you know, the self for you. Look at this, man. I tried to get him, man. He, he, he was swoopity, doopity, goopity, whoop on me, bro. He was like, come here, man. What you jumping out the gym for? But hey, y'all boys, thanks for rocking with me, man, this morning, bro. Sorry that y'all was a quick. Them boys exploded me. Sorry that I was quick, but, man, hey, like always, stay stay humble, stay faithful, stay loving, y'all boys. It's been your boy again with Kenny. I'm out, baby. Hot up. Peace.